All right, here we go. Something cool, something new, something innovative today. Brand new Aircom belly pack boom pump remote control. To my understanding, we are the first ones to have this. This is the first one in the field operational. Super excited about it. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing about this, this is something I've wanted for years. They move the pump forward, pump reverse functions to the joysticks. That was by request. They can actually program these buttons for whatever functions you like. If you wanted it to be like a, a boom a boom function walkout or a, you know second stage up, second stage down or whatever, they can do that too. But here's, here's what I like it for. Look at this, pump on. Say I get a plug, my hand's right here. Boom, pump off real quick. Instead of having to jump my hand from the joystick to the, uh, to the buttons and hunt for a toggle or a button to shut the pump off, super quick. Pump reverse, right there, super quick. A few other things they've done here, not only do they have a uh, rabbit turtle boom speed, they also have what they call a penguin speed. What this penguin, sweet, penguin speed does It'll take either your rabbit or turtle, whichever one you've selected, and for the first 50% of joystick travel, it will be slow, and then the second 50%, it goes full speed. So you can get the best of both worlds when you're in your turtle or in your rabbit boom position, rather. You can have it nice and slow and progressive for the first half of the stick travel, and then when you want to open her up for some quick movements, just take that extra 50% of travel. Fantastico. So. So the other cool feature, just a separate belt, like so. If you want to pull the remote off, easy piece to set it to the side. It's actually super, super comfortable. It, uh, it has shoulder straps as well. I don't really like shoulder straps, but that is an option. You can combine them with this if you want. But uh, this is the pair works really, really good. So, to turn the boom on, there's a lot of safety features of this. Push that button. best part if you want to turn your outriggers on to make an adjustment while you're boomed out it's not just a matter of touching the button you actually have to hold it so it's got a safety on it and then when you're done making your adjustments just tap it again let me re-enable the boom right now I'm in rabbit speed so I've got full boom speeds on everything I'll unfold this a little bit and we'll do a little demo this one has the, the twist functions on the sticks. I like it. That's my favorite. I don't like three stick remotes. I like a two stick. Obviously, because it's only a four section, this left stick, the twist, doesn't have a function. Not on this boom. But if we go into what they call the penguin speed, so the first 50% of my travel will be in turtle. My second 50% of travel will be rabbit speed. So I can just move it a little bit if I don't want the boom to be too fast. And then if they want to stop and jump over to the other end of the slab, full travel. Full travel, full boom speed. It's also handy on a little pump like this when you're boomed in really close. You want full speed for your slewing. And then as you boom out, obviously you want it to be slower. So instead of having to switch from rabbit to turtle, you can just have it on penguin. If that's something you want to do. So, yeah, pump on. Pump off, stroke change, and reverse pump. For volume, we've got two buttons right here. And the best part, we had them set it up so it's a numeric value, zero to 20. So if you're pouring into a placing boom or something, you know that you like to pour your columns at about a five. Every time you go and pour, you know it's a five. If you like to pour the slabs at a 10, you know where your 10 is at. Super, super handy. So, but I'm gonna show you the best part. You wanna try it? Let's get Mike to try it first. Do you wanna put the belt on? I think you should put the belt on. It's pretty light too. Yeah, it is. And it's it completely waterproof. Okay, put the belt on, Mike. It'll fit you. You'll be surprised at how nice the belt is. So you're set on the penguin setting right now. So if you, if you turn that one off, you'll just be in turtle. 
But you'll see the first 50% of stick travel is turtle and then the second 50% is, uh, is rabbit. I'm sure it would be a lot more uh, prevalent on a bigger boom. Try the pump on off buttons, let me know what you think. Okay, I gotta turn your volume up. There you go. Because this one's plumbed on, on uh, piston side, you really gotta crank that number up. Go straight into forward and reverse, or do you need to? If stop? you go straight to reverse, it just stops the pump. Um, I'd ask them about that, but and they had a good point. It's a bad idea because if you're in reverse and you bump the forward stick and the pump went straight to forward pump, it wouldn't be a good thing, right? It's pretty I, cool. It shows you which what it's doing. Yeah, it shows you right on the screen. So it's nice because the screen shows you everything, but you don't have any of those silly selector knobs where you're toggling through menus. It's all done with fixed buttons, which is super nice. And when you set the boom speeds on this, unlike some of the other remotes where it's all just by eye and you've got a teach battery with a plus minus, when you go into the boom settings, it actually has numerical values from zero to 100. Oh. So you can set all your, all your boom speeds at a 65 and if all my tips a little slow, you could bump it to like a 68 or whatever. So you can really dial the boom in and you know where your values are at in comparison to one another. That's pretty cool. It is. Yeah, we just kind of did an express setup on the boom controls, but I think they're actually pretty no, good. That's, uh, this is awesome for like walls and stuff. Right, you do little movements nice and slow, but you do move a lot. On, on the penguin speed, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. That's an awesome thing. That would be great on the, on the big booms. Well, if you actually have it in, in turtle speed and then enable penguin, what it is is the first 50% is half of turtle speed. The second 50% is full turtle speed. So if you're training an operator, you can put that on like ultimate training wheel mode. Oh yeah, look at that. It's really right? Cool. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's almost painfully slow, but to somebody who's new and they're probably scared of the pump. That's, that's like yeah. That's, yeah. Cool. Okay, if you fold it up, I'm gonna show you the best thing though. This is the part that's gonna blow your mind. Yeah, completely waterproof, built-in battery, wireless charger. Um, if the battery runs out, if you're doing like a slip, uh, slip pour, um, slip form pour, you know, pouring for a week straight or something, there's actually a USB port on the bottom or a um, what is it? What do they call this? C port? I don't know. One of the fancy chargers. I can't keep up. And you just hook it up to an auxiliary battery, like what you use for your cell phone, a portable battery, and you can actually charge the remote while you're using it too. So. The battery life with these joysticks, I think is gonna be about 10 to 12 hours because they eat up a little bit more power. The ones that don't have the buttons, I was told it's something like 24. Don't quote me on any of this stuff though. This is all very new. Um, we haven't even actually run it in the field yet. We're gonna do that tomorrow, so. Okay, if you kill that, I'm gonna show you the best feature of this whole darn thing. Looking for the e-stop? It's right there. <laughs> it's a big red one. You wanna, okay, get ready. Get ready to be mind blown. This is the best damn part. Look at this. Power it up, just like you would for our line pump. And honk your, honk your horn. Check out what they did with the volume. Oh yeah, that's 
you can actually have a graphic for That's it now. Cool. So now when this thing's out as a line pump, which it is half the time, you don't need to pack that around. You've got this little guy. But wait, there's more. I'm going to show you something else here. So when you pull up to the placing boom of this thing, because the boom is so short, doesn't overhang the hopper, there's no need to lift the boom out of the cradle to get the mixers to the hopper. So in that regard, there's no need for this, right? Yeah. But, 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 we still use our outriggers to level the pump up and finagle it into place to line up the, uh, the outlet on the hopper with the thrust block pipe. So you're thinking you probably need this. You're gonna have to power this up and switch over, right? Guess what? Hit the green button. Pull that button down. <laughs> outriggers. Oh, wow. So you can power your outriggers from this. That's awesome. And then to turn them off, tap it once, hit the green button, back to your regular menu. So for placing boom pours with this pump, you don't even need to touch that thing. Also wireless charging. Like I said, we're gonna get this out, um, put it through the paces. I genuinely do feel that it's going to be awesome. Even this feature alone is awesomeness enough, let alone some of the stuff they've done with that radio control right there. So. All right, Mike, what do you think? Final thoughts? And what do you think of the belt? other than the fact that it doesn't fit you and we can get you a bigger one. There is a, a shoulder harness for that too, if you want it also resting on your shoulders. Yeah. Or you can run just the shoulder harness. I actually really like that. Yeah, this one's, this one's better. And rumor has it, they might even have a cup holder attachment to put on there. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So. An umbrella, umbrella holder. There we go, now we're talking. Yeah, no, I think it'll do quite well. So anyway, we just got this today. We'll take her out tomorrow, give her a whirl. Um, She's actually out as a line pump tomorrow, so we're gonna utilize this, so it'll be really exciting. So, anyhow, you'll be seeing a whole bunch more about this in, uh, in our upcoming videos. And as usual, it will be a uh, full, honest review, no fluff. If there's things I don't like about it, I will tell you. If there's things I love about it, I will tell you. But uh, initial impressions here, I think they really, really nailed it with this thing. So, we shall see how it goes.